The family and friends of a Watauga woman killed days before reaching an important and personal goal. They are reflecting on her life and they made sure she was honored at an Ironman race in the woodlands just outside of Houston. Yona Gavino live in Watauga uh, in Dallas area tonight with more on this story regarding this woman. Yona. Susan Law's goal, Steve, was to complete the Ironman race by the time she turned 50. And you know what? That would have happened yesterday. But luckily, her son was able to find a way for his mom's memory to live on. This is Susan Law. I said, run, Susan, run! Training for her first full Ironman race. Her son, Kay, says she was excited to compete. She was ready. She was. She was more than ready. That dream ended when officers responded to a call over an emergency protective order and discovered Susan dead days before the triathlon. Getting to the finish line and hearing other people's names being called and after and then afterwards saying, you know, so and so you are an Iron Man. It was just it was hard because I just wanted to yell, it's, it's not fair. It was Kay who called 911 when he says he saw Susan's ex boyfriend, James Freeman, at her house on Wooddale Drive in Watauga Monday morning. Police responded and say when James answered the door, he fired a shot at them. Officers fired back, killing him. Kay tells me James repeatedly threatened his mom. Kay honored his mom at Saturday's race by wearing her number. And then I wrote, You're my Iron Man. Susan's friend crossed the finish line for her. But it's Kay's wish to eventually compete for his mom. I didn't want yesterday to end, really. But now on the way back, after I've got to speak with her coach, and, you know, she knows that I want to train to finish the Ironman next year for my mom. Um, it's motivating at the same time because I see, I saw it. I know it's going to be hard. To carry her in his heart every step of the way. When I come across, I want to hear Kay and Susan, you are an Iron Man. And Kay is hoping to compete wearing his mom's number at the next Iron Man competition. So far, the medical examiner has not released an official cause of Susan's death. Live in Watauga, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News.